Hi, I'm Jonathan, and I'm a customer and a friend of Goodland. I'm here with my family at the Trail House to show you this beautiful place, have a soak, and chat with the owners to get an inside look on what it's like to create a place to pause. Goodland is a company that creates products that encourage a deeper connection to nature and promotes the act of taking a pause from the busyness of life. And you're going to see how these products are integrated here at the Trail House. The Trail House is a vacation rental on Bowen Island in British Columbia that has partnered with Goodland to elevate interactions with this place and to encourage the act of slowing down. This is Kendra and Craig. They're actually the creators of Goodland and have pioneered some great products to promote pause. And now they have created this place to pause. So we're going to get some great insight on about the process of making and running a vacation rental just like this. Tell me about how this started. Yeah, we were living in Vancouver and we thought, oh, we should buy property and get a little weekend cottage type thing. And we found ourselves on Bowen Island and we found this beautiful lot. And we started thinking about weekend plans and building a little cabin. And then that sort of evolved into a family home and children. And, and now we've built this trail house so that we can have guests and friends and family and um, let other people enjoy our space as well. Something that's really interesting and I think unique about specifically Bowen Island, I'm sure lots of other accommodations and Airbnbs and stuff too, is that like people want to visit this place. People have been visiting Bowen Island since like um, the 1930s. It's been a popular place for people from Vancouver to come and escape the city essentially. And you know, it was always a place that was, you know, thought of as a place of recreation. People would come over and they would like go to dances and do these big picnics and go swimming on the docks and stuff like that. And so it really lets people live that local community lifestyle for a night or two nights or three nights, uh, which is something that makes it, you know, especially unique, I think. So did you design this space? Yeah, we had help from some local architect, but we definitely had really strong opinions on what we wanted to build and, and what we want it to, to feel like as well. We sort of, I guess we kind of call it like a modern cabin. So it's got all the comforts of home, but it still has a bit of a sort of modern cabin vibe. We wanted it to be feel connected to the forest, but um, be clean and uncluttered and sort of help you to sort of escape um, the city life and your cluttered work mind and, and just really get into relaxing when you're here. Welcome to the Trail House. The accommodation is set up with an open concept living room and kitchen and a gas fireplace, some custom cabinetry and designer furniture. You can see that it's like perfectly set up to relax and take in the forest views. There's a cozy bedroom with a queen bed and room to relax. It features a luxurious bathroom with a walk-in shower that really feels like a spa. The space is also equipped with everything you'll need to make your stay comfortable, like fridge, microwave, hot plates, toaster oven, air fryer, coffee, tea, all that. Yeah, inside we decided to build, like we wanted it to be a, a smaller suite. We didn't want to have a huge party suite or anything like that. So it's a 620 square foot, one bedroom apartment essentially, uh, with the interior style of kind of a mix of modern and vintage. And I think the space really lends itself to sort of coming over and, and slowing down and having a sort of calm weekend. You know, we were intentional about that because it is quite close to our house. We wanted, you know, we wanted everybody to sort of come and enjoy nice, quiet weekends. Great place to yeah. read a book, you know, relax in the hot tub, watch the sun go down and watch the sailboats, you know, go by the harbor. Have a nice fire at night and a glass of wine and yeah. sort of like a luxurious spa cabin vibe. Yeah, let's talk a bit about the, the challenges of building this place. Oh yeah, there was a couple for sure. Like you're up here. You're yeah, up here. exactly. Yeah, like we're up at like, Bowen Island is made like primarily of rocks with some forest on it, right? And, and we're up a really steep section of the road. Like it actually is kind of notorious for being one of the steepest sections on Bowen. Um, that made it a challenge to get like the materials up here. Everything had to come up on like a four wheel drive high ab truck 
or like little small delivery trucks. It was, it was actually quite a challenge to get and to get really long things up here too. So as you can see, it's like raised up on, which is essentially a steel frame on one side. And one of our visions for that was that we really wanted to lift it up essentially. So that A, we could get some added functionality of um, parking underneath and storage. But then also this allowed us to like spin the accommodation. So essentially they're back to back so that we're not uh, interfering with each other's living space. So this has its own private living space that looks out into the private forest. We actually used to have an, uh, a little wall tent that was kind of lived right in this spot, but we would always come up and climb up onto this rock surface here, which is about like 10 feet up or so. And just imagine like this would be the perfect deck for a, an Airbnb or short term accommodation to have this out here where people can like soak in the wood fired hot tub and like look out at the view here. And if you're lucky, like and it's a busy day, you can see lots of like sailboats and ships going by. It's like a really spectacular view. I would imagine a lot of people book this because of the tub. Yeah, absolutely. I think that most of the people booking here are coming for the, the hot tub and the sort of whole immersive experience that we've created here. It definitely adds value to our rental. So Kendra, you manage this rental yourself? Yeah, I do all the bookings and the cleanings and um, with that comes, you know, changing out the water for the hot tub, um, being a bit of a tour guide too. I love, you know, telling people what's where's good to eat and where's good to go and all that sort of fun stuff. So I've got one of these tubs and I love it, um, but I'm just wondering what it's like for guests that, you know, might not have used this before. Are there any challenges with that or? Well, we really try and set them up for success by preparing the first fire. Um, and there's the instruction plate here has all like sort of good instructions. There's a QR code that leads them to a video. So we sort of send that stuff before they even get here so that when they're on the ferry, they're watching the video, they're sort of preparing themselves. That's what makes the soak so rewarding, right? And, and it's all part of the experience of like slowing down, getting back to nature is chopping the wood, doing the fire, getting in and out. And especially in those like shoulder months, we find people like are really loving the tub. You know, Bowen Island in the summer is kind of more of a beach vibe place anyways. So it really gets the most use, use in those shoulder seasons, which is when, you know, vacation rentals slow down anyway, so. I'd love to know how much something like this costs. Are you comfortable sharing some numbers or? Yeah, I mean, like being on the west coast of Canada is a really expensive place to do any building whatsoever. Um, and we were kind of building it during COVID, which also had like some inflated costs as well. Um, but overall, the whole build of the accommodation rental, like not including the property or anything, that was around 350,000 Canadian. Um, and that was like, you know, an architect, a contractor, all the materials everything from start to finish essentially, which which does seem like a lot, but um, hopefully it's investment we can use for the future, you know, and we get to use it for ourselves and we can supplement that with the short-term accommodations essentially. We just started in January, so we're still learning, but we've had a lot of guests and uh, yeah, I in think the like four months, five yeah, months. Yeah, like Bowen Island has a bit of a vacation feel to it like people do come from the city to find those moments of pause and slow down for the weekend so it's kind of can be busy all year um, and then we've really felt like having honestly even though sli we're slightly biased but having the hot tub really made it busy like in the shoulder season everybody you know wanted to do that like yeah and i don't think people realize this when they come here but we do almost treat this like a bit of a test lab so if we're working on new products and stuff like that like sometimes we'll we'll put them here to kind of get a feel for what people are thinking and and how they're working and you get them to sign a little nda <laughs> totally yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally totally bright secret hop over to the website for more details on goodlands products and to apply to be an accommodation partner or visit the journal and get more inspiration on places to pause just like this We had a fantastic time staying at your little slice of heaven and are counting down the days until we are lucky enough to return. This place has, was wonderful and we greatly enjoyed the wood burning hot tub.